In the annals of Greek mythology, few stories are as haunting and tragic as the saga of the House of Atreus. This ancient tale, filled with murder, betrayal, and divine retribution, serves as a cautionary narrative that explores the consequences of pride, violence, and familial discord. This article delves into the intricate web of myths surrounding the House of Atreus, examining the key characters and events that define this enduring and chilling Greek tragedy. Origins of the Curse the House of Atreus traces its roots back to Tantalus, a mortal favored by the gods. However, Tantalus's hubris and disrespect towards the divine led to his punishment. In an act of sacrilege, he offered his own son, Pelops, as a feast to the gods. The gods were appalled, and Tantalus was condemned to eternal torment in the underworld. Pelops, miraculously restored to life by the gods, would become the patriarch of the ill-fated House of Atreus. Generations of Tragedy the curse that plagued the house of Atreus manifested itself in successive generations, perpetuating a cycle of violence and suffering. Key figures in this tragic saga include Agamemnon, Menelaus, Clytemnestra, Iphigenia, Orestes, and Electra. Agamemnon, the son of Atreus, Agamemnon played a pivotal role in the Trojan War. His ill-fated decision to sacrifice his daughter Iphigenia to appease the goddess Artemis before sailing to Troy became a catalyst for the curse that loomed over the family. Clytemnestra, Agamemnon's wife Clytemnestra, harbored deep resentment for the sacrifice of their daughter. Upon Agamemnon's return from Troy, Clytemnestra, in a fit of revenge and anger, murdered him in cold blood. Iphigenia, the sacrificial lamb in Agamemnon's quest for victory, Iphigenia's tragic fate set the stage for the family's downward spiral. Her innocence and untimely death were central to the curse's inception. Orestes, the son of Agamemnon and Clytemnestra, Orestes faced the daunting task of avenging his father's murder. Driven by a divine mandate and the need for justice, Orestes carried out matricide, slaying Clytemnestra to fulfill the command of the god Apollo. Electra, Electra, sister to Orestes, played a role in the vengeance against Clytemnestra. Her grief and thirst for justice underscored the tragic family dynamics that fueled the curse. Divine Retribution and Resolution The actions of the House of Atreus did not go unnoticed by the gods. Furies ancient and vengeful goddesses associated with revenge and retribution pursued Orestes for the act of matricide. The Furies tormented Orestes until he sought refuge in Athens, where the goddess Athena intervened. A trial known as the Eumenides ensued, with Orestes ultimately acquitted. The resolution of the curse came with the establishment of the Areopagus, a court in Athens, and the appeasement of the Furies. Orestes's journey to redemption marked the end of the familial curse, bringing an uneasy peace to the House of Atreus. Themes and Interpretations The House of Atreus serves as a cautionary tale, exploring themes of hubris, the consequences of divine disobedience, and the cyclical nature of violence within families. The intricate web of familial relationships and the interplay between mortal actions and divine intervention highlight the complexities of morality and justice in Greek mythology. Legacy and Influence the House of Atreus has left an indelible mark on literature, drama, and art. Greek tragedians such as Aeschylus, Sophocles, and Euripides explored the themes of this cursed family in their plays, including Aeschylus's Oresteia trilogy. The story has continued to resonate through the ages, inspiring adaptations and interpretations in various art forms. Conclusion The House of Atreus stands as a chilling testament to the enduring power of Greek mythology to captivate and provoke thought. The tragic saga of this cursed family serves as a timeless exploration of the complexities of human nature, divine justice, and the profound consequences of familial discord. The House of Atreus, with its legacy of violence and redemption, remains an integral part of the rich tapestry of Greek mythology, inviting generations to ponder the age-old question of fate versus free will.